Hello, welcome to Tina Talk Show. It's me, your host, Adam Wachiku. Thank you so much, audience. Guys, it's been a while. I've, you know, like I said on Face, on my social media platform, I've gone, I had like a burnout, okay? So I needed to take a break, but it's always good to come back. Um, I have list, you know, lineup of uh, awesome, wonderful guests uh, who are coming to Tina Talk Show. And for that reason, I am saying that don't forget to keep tuning in to Tina Talk Show because it's a place where you get to find out really, really the story behind some of your favorite artists, some of your favorite people in the society today. So I want to first again, I want to thank you for continuing to be, you know, to join me on Tina Talk Show to support me here because without you, I can't do it. Okay. And if you are a returning guest, you know, if you've always been there, thank you so much. And if you are, if this is the first time that you are coming, how are you just passing by? I want to say you are also welcome to join us here on Tina Talk Show. And, um, you know, um, like always, you know, this platform is designed for you. Yes, for you to come and share those your amazing story. I literally put up this platform so that because the beauty of who you are today, whatever it is that you are doing, you know, the beauty of it is the story behind it. Who were you before that time? How did, you know, people always want to become, they want to be like somebody else. But what they don't know is the story behind it. They don't know how the person struggled. They don't know how the person, you know, where they've been, all the hurdles, the, the, you know, the struggling, the juggling of life. And now we are enjoying the fruit of their labor alongside with them. So this is why I say, come and share your story. Let them know that you've come a long way. Let them know that there's a story behind your success today. And this is exactly what my next guest, all the way from Italy, known by his name he's going to introduce himself but he's known uh by the name omo pz omo pz is all the way he's an international music artist okay and uh, he will be sharing his story you've heard about omo pz but who is omo pz so without wasting much of our time i'm going to be bringing him all the way from italy to come and talk about himself but before that take let's take a break okay guys thank you so much for coming back and staying in tune yes without wasting much of our time almost busy all the way from italy here yeah, i don't want to waste your time i'm going to bring him up to come and tell us about him okay yes here we are almost busy all the way from italy how are you today it's a pleasure thank you so much first of all for coming to tina talk show we love you we say yes, well the Tina Talk Show is a pleasure. I know that out there you are a very busy artist, you know, but you took out your time to come to share your amazing story. So welcome. We do appreciate you. Thank you so much. How yeah, it's a pleasure to be here too. You know? Yeah, great, great. Thank you too. <laughs> now, now, um, Omo PZ, I yeah. know what Tina Talk Show is all about. Your fans watching right now, they want to get to know about a little bit about you and so without wasting much i'm sure they are very anxious to find out about you can you introduce yourself to the you know to your fans to the audience yeah what's up my people it's your bomb peasy yeah i'm from nigeria you already know from edo mm -hmm. state urome yeah you know that i live in italy palermo you know we're at palermo yeah one love no. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you so much for that. Thank you. We really do appreciate you. You know, you know, I I didn't know you you from Nigeria, though there's a you know, the accent, the way you speak, you 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 sound like from um different part of African country. It's quite amazing. From Oromi, right? 
yeah. from Edo State. Is it Edo State? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I do state. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yes, the last time I spoke with you, um, I actually had the privilege, you know, to speak with you before today, and there was something you shared, you shared with me, you know, about your growing up and and all that, and there was something you said about, you know, the struggles that you went through, um, coming from, you know family that struggled you know you use the word not very rich but you know you try to make your way you know to life you know trying to to hustle and succeed um can you um even you know you mentioned to me that it came to the point where you were not even able to um to finish your secondary school you know the reason why i want to share i want us to you to share this is because uh, we're going to be talking about your your music career you know, but I want the audience to actually know where you're coming from, like your story, a little bit, so that they can appreciate you better. You know, you mentioned to me that you did not um, get, you know, to finish your secondary school. Can you share this part of your life with us, if you don't mind? Yeah, yeah. You know, it's difficult when when you are from family. So when you are from poor family, it's very difficult to to for life. Everything is very difficult because. You won't have the money to support yourself. You have the money to do anything. It's very difficult in Nigeria, in my town. Very difficult even to eat food back then. Yeah, mm. it was very difficult because no, no money. When you don't have money, you can't do nothing. So we still, we still work out. We still struggled, and that was the period of the time my music. I was still trying to get to my music, and you see that was very difficult to do too, because money is everything. Without money, you can't do anything so it was very difficult for me and we still struggle and work thank god for life though we are still here and yeah. we are still doing it mm -hmm. wow amazing amazing that that that's quite um humbling you know that you share this part of you with us because somebody might see you today now and they will think yeah i'm more busy you know you have it all going uh can you tell us how did this um not finishing secondary school um did it affect you in any way like your confidence you know you know back in the days when you hear people say that one no that one didn't go to school the, you know did it affect you or you just that kind of a person that just know you know what even if I didn't finish school, but I am who I am. You know, did it affect it, your coffee? Yeah, one thing, uh, one thing I know, one thing I know about life is that mm. no matter what you are, no matter what you do, no matter how perfect you are, mm. so um, people must still say this boy is this is that. You understand? So yeah. I don't really, it don't affect me. Maybe when I was young, but mm. now I don't really take it like anything because even a lot of people that finish this school in Nigeria, they are still. They are still doing bike in Nigeria. Yeah. They are still struggling. They are still doing suffering. Yeah. So I don't feel very anything. True. That is yeah. very true. Very true. I like that because some people can be affected by that because uh, they didn't finish secondary school. And you know, when you look around you, there are even some people that finish university and still yeah. they have not been able to do anything with their with their certificate. You know, no yeah. employment. You know, but you, um, you didn't allow the situation to affect you. You didn't allow that to affect you, and you go on. And and I remember you did mention about starting your music career at the age of 15, 16. Can you share with us, um, at what point in your life did you realize yeah. that music is for you? How did you How did you know? You know, a lot of people don't know their calling. They don't know their purpose. Like, how did you come to know that music is for me? Okay, like normally when I first, first of all, when I, w I was young, I love music. One mm. thing about me, I love music. So I listened to music a lot when I was young. So when I was get growing up, I think I said music one thing I want to do. So I don't really know how it comes. Just, it just come once. It's just like a, that's why I say music is spiritual, you know, because the music thing just come to me like, you're going to do music. That was my mind because my mind told me you, you are going to do this. You are going, I'm going to do it. I'm not going to change my mind or nothing. So music just come to my mind and said, you can do music. You will do it. And voila, I'm whisked. <laughs> was, was, was one of your inspiration? 
yeah yeah whiskey is part of those people that really make me love, want to do music because when i was young when whiskey was doing music i'm still young though <laughs> when whiskey mm-hmm. was doing music uh, when you just come to the music business then ah when we saw whiskey in nigeria and whiskey come from a poor family too so we saw whiskey you see wow he can he come from a poor family and he can make music and become a superstar so we are definitely go- i'm definitely going to be a superstar mm-hmm. one day so mm-hmm. i work hard that's the period of time i really believe i can do music wow. so but i did not got my confidence that time to do music though wow because someone you need confidence to go to when you are in the to studio to record yeah yeah so if that is my life that is the story though that is the reason why i start music and i thank god because it's good it's great mm. wow so so growing up from from the uh, you know not having too much you know that where i mean sometimes able to feed and, and yeah. i know a lot of fans watching right now um they can relate with that because a yeah. lot of homes um didn't they grew up really difficult you know and but what i want to know is um how did you manage at the age of between 15 and 16 <coughs> sorry at the age of 15 and 16 um you were able to to start up music was it the time you actually start going to studio or was it when you actually felt i i can do this no at the age of 60 yeah is the time i started going to studio because i started going to studio in italy or oh, in italy okay yeah because i don't really have i don't really have money in nigeria to go to studio you, you need money to go to studio so oh. i always say i'm doing music so but i never go to studio i always sit down and be singing try to freestyle like depend the mood i am that period of time start mm. to sing freestyle so i decide one day it's time to go to the next level start to start the music business for real and that's when I start my I move my journey, start my journey from Nigeria to this country, Italy, where I am. So, and when I get here, first thing I have to do, I have to relax before a few a year plus before I start doing my music. I start recording here. Wow! So now in a new country, yeah, everything is new. The language. How did you find the language at the beginning? Did, did you have to 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 because that's another challenge, you know. Uh, going see, to another, a new country and yes. and then they start to, to speak a bonjour or quantren come sta quanto costa you know <laughs> yeah <laughs> you even speak it more than me <laughs> <laughs> no i used to come to italy for business you know i used, I used to come I, I used to go to napoli to buy yeah. uh, clothes you know fashion fashion clothing and bring down to, to uk yeah. yeah so tell me so how did you manage to i mean to learn the language and did you go to school to learn the yeah language? i went i went to school yeah to learn the language okay but i'm not still perfect with the language still though of course it takes time of, yeah. of course it, it, it takes time so 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 how did you find a studio to start recording did you okay yeah when I where I found my studio, you know when you, when I come to this place, they put us in the first camp, and my first camp yeah. they put me. That camp when they transfer me to another city in the other camp, and the worker there, one of them used to do music. So mm. I I tell her I used to do I do music, and she said that her boyfriend, I mean her fiance, her fiance is a producer. So that was my first record. The year her fiance is a producer. So he called his fiance, and fiance bring everything to the to the camp and we start recording that was my first record but it was not lucky to make i'll make the youtube make it to youtube it was not lucky to make it to youtube though and and tell me why is that why didn't you make it to youtube <laughs> this song is it is it is it could it be that it didn't make up it make it to youtube because maybe the quality of the sound you wanted yeah you that is it, it. wasn't ha- how you want it yeah so I, do, I did not yourself, expect it <laughs> if it's not the best i don't want it out there could it be what yeah. was happening 
Tell me. Yeah. yeah. When the song comes out, when they send the song to me, I listen to the song because the song was not just for me. It was me and my friend. We make mm. the song together. So mm. when the song comes to me, when I play the song, I was not comfortable with the song. I was not. I don't think I don't accept the song to me because what I don't like, I can't bring it out. Mm. It's, nobody will like it to do. Maybe some people, but maybe nobody. So I don't bring it out. The second time was when I in Palermo, yeah. When I come back to Palermo, yeah, I went to another studio. I record the song. Then that was the place I lost my confidence. I'm telling oh, you because wow. it was my first time I saw people were still in the studio with me. So I was thinking when I put on the ear piece on my ear, I was thinking. What about I'm singing now? I'm singing rubbish, and those people are laughing me in my back. Aww. So I was thinking about that. So I lost my confidence, and mm. I still sing on rubbish. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I, what, what, so, what, what, what did the people say? Did they say it was rubbish? No, was no, 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 no. No, they can't, they can't tell you. No matter what, when you're in studio, some people don't tell you. They can still tell you, ah, this song is dope. You are the one that need to go home and listen to the song and think about the song and say, is this, a, is this the type of song I need? or this is not the I type like of song that. I need. I, I yeah. like that. I like that. So when the song comes to me, I listen to the song. It was not my. It was not the song I was looking for. It was not the same. So I have to drop that again. It, 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 was, it was not the quality you were looking for. Yeah, it was not the you quality know, you know, I was looking for. You know, I like that. It's like before you give somebody food to eat, you have to eat it. You, you, yeah. you have to make sure it tastes nice to you. You know, some yeah. people just. They cook food and they don't even test it. They just dish it to people, and whereas they can't eat it. So I like that. That um, you know, you 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 crafted the, the song. You 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 cook. It's like you cook the food and you taste yeah. it like mm, nah, not so good, nah. not, not so, so good. good. <laughs> I'm not put, not so good. I'm not putting it out there. It shows yeah. that you know what you are doing. You know, it shows that you know what you are doing it shows that you understand um the career where you are going it shows that you understand what music should be okay so because it's only somebody that understand that will check it and say oh there's you need salt you need pepper you need maggie you need this so you wanted to make sure all the necessary ingredients we're yeah. in that music in that song and um yeah. you know and uh, because it wasn't what you wanted and you didn't bring it up so uh, yeah. now what i want to know is because you are new in the country and you know you went to you now came to palermo and um you now went again to the second time in the studio you lost confidence again so how did you manage to pick yourself up yeah how I managed to pick myself up is that I met a friend and that friend, his name is Stan Blaze. So he's a producer too. So when I come to his house, we start recording. I, I meet him. I tell him I want to record. I'll be hearing Stan Blaze, Stan Blaze. I need to bring him to Tina Talk Show. You need to come here and talk about everybody. Stan Blaze, Stan Blaze. All right. Uh, Stan, Bla yeah, yeah, I'm uh, Stan Blaze is a nice guy. Mm. Mm. So I come to Stan Blaze and we, we was talking and I tell him I want to feature him in my song. So I feature him in my first song. And that first song, yeah. I like the song though. I love okay. the song. Just one thing I noticed in the song is that a lot of things I was saying in the song, if you do not put your ear down, you can't hear everything. Mm. Yeah. So I was, but that one was, I released that one. That one make it to YouTube. So I made that, it that, so so which one is that one? Can you tell us the name of the song? Omalicha. Omalicha. Yeah. Okay. Um, you know what, audience? We're going to be playing you. So it's on YouTube, right? Yeah. yeah. Right now. Okay, audience, you know what? I'm going to make you know make sure that I'm gonna play this Omalicha that made it to the YouTube. Okay. So we just take a break and um, we're gonna yeah, now you listen to it, okay? Easy. Stand blaze. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't know what I mean. Peace. Let's go there. Small, 
Say me can tell you something now Something now na na Oh my child you blow my mind Blow my mind yeah. Say me can tell you something now Something na 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 Oh my child you blow my mind Blow my mind yeah. That's why I say oh my hand Oh my hand Oh my hand Hey, say, oh my hand, oh my hand, oh my hand, yeah. oh my hand, oh my hand, oh my hand, yeah. oh my hand, 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 oh my Tell us about Omalicha. Omalicha. Yeah, what inspired, song... what inspired you? Is it the one that you, you feature uh, Star Blaze? Yeah, that was my first song that made it to you. That no. Made it to YouTube. Yes. Yeah, let me see. Yeah, that was my first song that I made it to YouTube. So, that Omalicha, Omalicha, we did not write it. That is the fact, though. We just I bring the beat, we start by beat to the beat near Stan Blaze, and Stan Blaze okay. put the chorus. So Stan Blaze was one that bring the title Omalicha. So he put the chorus, we vibe on it. Mm. There's no, there's no sort of really big on it on Is Omalicha. It, so it was a freestyling. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Wow, amazing and it really really sound really amazing it sound really great and I, I have to say well done you know that being your first your, your first song and it made it to you too you know i like the, the way you select what you bring out you don't just um uh, you know be any out guy where you won't bring anything any idea i made it up <laughs> <laughs> no, I know I made me too man. Me no go spoil. Me no go press spoil. <laughs> uh huh. Me no go press spoil. You know that kind of thing now. So yes, I really, now. I, I really like that that part of you that you want to make sure it's, it's, it it come out really really nice. Now you went on to produce another song. Um, yeah. Called Bag Bay. Bag Bay. Yeah, that was Bag Bay. That was the main song. Yeah, that was the main song that really. It that, that, that now it's hitting the, it's the, the you know the, the, the big screen now it's been hitting the big screen but where is yes. it right now so tell us yeah. about Bagbe. tell us about Bagbe. Bagbe, Bagbe, Bagbe song still like where i have make that Bagbe is that i call stand blaze to i test stand blaze i'm coming to your studio i want to record mm. and he said yeah. okay come mm. when i'm coming when i reach the studio stand blaze said eh busy boy don't come again that's what he said. So I, we were laughing. So mm. we sit down and yeah, we sit down, we talk. Later I say, I think I'm going to make this song. Bad oh, busy boy, don't come man. Onu kana mon segbe. Bakicho na bo Jamie. So, so that is how we make back bass. Just my song really though. My song, the way I make my music, is there's no too much thinking on it or anything like. Uh, what am I going to do or what am I going to drop in there? When I get there, when I'm in the mood, I play the instrument. You just flow. I flow. So it's quite uh, amazing that you are, you know, you, you look like you're born to do it. You're born to, to, you know, you know, you're born to sing. You can just wake up and start singing. Yeah. It was sometimes in the night when I'm sleeping, maybe I'm like dreaming of music. I can just wake up and start. I'll just pick up my phone, start recording. Amazing. Start recording with my phone. Amazing. Now, um, audience, I'm going to uh, the song that we just talked about uh, called Bag Bay. I'm going to say, guys, take a look, okay? Number one, nana. 
When it comes to me like this, what I do, when it comes to me, I pick up my phone and I play the, I, I record it. I do a voice record. Ah, I okay. do a voice record. Yeah. You do voice record. Okay. Yeah, yeah voice I do voice record. So I can yeah. remember the vibe. I just need the vibe. When I get the vibe, the rest is easy to me, but not wow. to everybody. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. So you just so you don't you you don't write it down you voice record it, it it's all it's all part of it you know some people write it down some people yeah. get inspired and they write it down but in your case you are more uh what we call audio or um how do you call it um audio, audio digital learner like you 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 um you learn by hearing you know by sound by sound you know yeah. so you take information more by by sound some people they write down your own is you you um recording you it. yeah yeah recording amazing wow um <clears throat> can you tell us about um your ep the one you the one you titled um summer love yes yeah, summer love yeah, so how did that one come about? Did you also freestyle that one? Ah. <laughs> Tell me, Summer Love sound really beautiful. Summer Love. The song, the EP Summer Love. Mm. The beat, uh, the song, it was every where I record my song, I don't write it. When I pick up the songs, I just, uh, pick up my phone when i'm playing the beats this time on the beat when i see something i love like you no know, sometimes you can play beats instantly maybe the vibe is not coming so you mm. need to vibe again and start vibing and vibing and when you vibe vibing when the one you love most inside you pick it and you keep that on your mem in your memory in your head because like yeah. me i keep it in my head when i get to the studio i record it and like so my love just the same way just the way I record all my songs, I never write it. I just the first one, the summer love, the first track on it, titled Summer Love. I record that from Regezi. And I recorded, I met I called Regezi, I'm going to the studio. We come, I tell him I want to record, he should make up some beat for me. And he make a beat. Regezi, because Regezi is very fast when it's come to making a beat. Very, mm. very. So he make a beat. And I start baby, so my love, you so my life. So I say, what am I going to do? I say, baby, can I be with you? Can I be, can I be your poo? Can I be your so my love? Your so my love, baby. So I start singing it. And I pick up the microphone. I put that down. And I record the first verse. And I take it home. I want to listen to the song again. So I can look where my mistake is. So I can mm. arrange it. So yeah. I listen to it. I get where my mistake is. So I arrange the mistake at home. And the other part, the second verse, I, I practice it and learn it. So I move back to the studio and record it. 
the second track the second track i think it was what was this called? Emma. I think it's Emma. Emma. Yeah, I still record that from in Regis Studio, but Regis was not the one that mastered the song though. The song was master in Nigeria. Emma was master in Nigeria. So the same thing. I pick up the beats, listen to it, know where to stop, where to continue, where I can put the hook, where I can put all the what the melody I can I want to put. So I listen to the beats. I still make something that was oh Emma, you gonna love you die, you gonna me, I never use you play. So that's how I make all. <laughs> now, I can hear you. Hear me? Yeah. yeah. I can hear you now. Yeah. So I like the way you kind of like uh, you know you freestyle. Like I can see it comes natural for you. You're already singing in the studio already. Amazing, and, and I love freestyle. I can see that you can just sing. Maybe before we finish, you're gonna sing one for Tina. Uh, Tina talks, you know, just you know, just, no just sing one freestyle for me. So start thinking about it before we finish, okay? I don't need to think too much. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so we're gonna put it to test now, okay? Okay, um, now I want to know what, what does your mom and dad, your, you know, think about your, your career, you know, your music. Because sometimes our parents. Please, can you repeat it? Huh? I can't hear you very well. Repeat. Can you repeat yeah. the question? Yeah, I said, yeah. I'm just wondering, now you've taken yeah. this part, yeah, of yeah. your music and everything. What does your mom and dad, what do they think? Did they like it or they want you to be a doctor? <laughs> <laughs> Normally, my mom. Mm. My mom, I don't even think my mom knew yet I'm a musician. Okay, I, I told her, I told her, but I don't think you, she you know. Are, are you waiting for when she's going to see you on, on TV? I'm waiting for when I come home. Oh, uh, when, when you've yeah. got it all together, amazing. Yeah. Well, is it because you want to be big first before, you, before she know or what? Uh... Oh, all of the above. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, you, you want to surprise them. Is yeah, it? I want to surprise her. Yeah, yeah. Did, did she know? Did she did she know as you are growing up? Has she ever thought, um, said to you that you can sing? Uh, they are this picking, you know, this picking shall be single. Did no, they, no, no. She always she always told me I, I would be a pastor. <laughs> ah. <laughs> She always wanted to be a pastor. Yeah. yeah. You know, even sometimes they would say, ah, now someone pastor, talk come on. You know, eh, now pastor, now you be, you be, God call you. <laughs> <laughs> she said, I want, yeah. she like me to be a pastor or accountant. Because, mm. Mm, yeah, because when, then I, when I was in Nigeria, I know mass a lot. So she was say, if, if I don't be a pastor, I'll be a accountant. But, mm. I do not be a pastor, I don't be a kind of become an artist. Superstar. Become an artist. <laughs> well, would you say, are you kind of concerned? Are you worried? that? Are you thinking maybe she's going to be disappointed? No. No, 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 no. no. She will not be disappointed. Mm, good, good. You know, it will be great. I, I can't wait for that moment when she's going to realize that um, you actually have a different calling, you know, because... Sure. You, Mm, you know, we, we inspire in so many ways. You know, God has called us in so many fields in life. You know, not everybody is called to be a, a pastor. Doesn't really mean you have to be in a pulpit. You have to be in a church. You could, uh, what, what does pastor do? They, they, they say things to make you feel happy, isn't it? So they say things to encourage you. They say things to empower you. That's what it's all about, isn't it? That's why we go to church. So that we'll be empowered by the words of God and things like that. So some people are called. Your music is also to empower people, is to encourage people, is to bring happiness into people, isn't it? Yeah. 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 You know. So I wanted to know that um, you know I can see the handwritings there. I can see that you really, really uh, born to do what you're doing. And also, I've listened to your track and noticed that um, you, um, you, you you sing in your native language, you know, your native. So what is the beauty 
in this you know what why do you why do you cooperate this i want to know yeah do you know they say that no matter where you go never forget home mm. so anytime when I'm making my music, I need to pull my net, I need to put even a little bit so that they should know, okay, this boy is from Moromi, this boy from Nigeria, those states. Mm. So that, it gives me joy. And I believe my people back there, they love it. They'll so, be proud of you. Yeah. I like that. Everywhere we go, we must not lose ourselves. We must not lose who we are. Very, very yeah. important. I, I love that when we are playing song, when we are doing anything and we, we put our our thing into it. That's why sometimes when you see when I'm doing my talk show, sometimes I speak in myself. Anything way jump into you know, sometimes I express myself in Igbo, I speak pigeon, you know, I that's because that's, now, our language that, now. You understand uh -huh. first not be first not be uh, or you want a language now. Or you uh, English like English na person language. You yes man. Na person language now. Na person you now. Na person yo. So we don't feel the carry person yo. Just the yeah, the yeah, up and down. When our own side, you understand that kind of thing. So we need to yes, be our own inside. They 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 incorporate them. You know, Very so sometimes important. I speak Igbo, I speak Pidgin English. Anyone we enter, we just jam up. So I, I'm really, really proud that you are doing that, and it's very, very important that we don't forget where we, where we are, where we are coming from. You know, and um, I'm so happy. There's something you shared with me, and uh, I, I would like the audience to know about it. That even one, the song that you feel very comfortable with is Bagwe. Bagwe earned you an award. That's amazing. Yeah. So ha, ha, tell us, share share this story with us. Okay. When I was at home, my manager called me. So yeah, FBI, yeah, FBI award. So he okay. called me and he said that there's a show, there's a talent show. So he want me to be in it. So I said okay. He said I should come and sign my name on it. So I said okay, I sign my name. When the time comes, I went to the show. I was very scared though. I won't lie you though. Because of course. It shows that you know that it's God. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because I really wanted to win that show because that was my period. That was the time I want to show in Palermo that, yeah, I'm an artist. So I need something to come out with for them to know, yeah, this guy is really an artist and it's good and people really like it. So when I was in the show, when, I, when they called my name, I was very scared though, but I was shocked when I started performing everybody in the state started dancing so hey. i'm telling you everybody started dancing i was wow so my confidence now come back more yeah. because wow amazing oh. yeah and that was my first show yeah hey. that was my yeah my first show my hey. first show i ever performed so i was happy when i see people dancing i was not even taking a body award anymore because i see people dancing to my song when that, i'm oh. thinking nobody's going to look at me so when mm -hmm. i see them dancing i was very happy and i was shocked when the judge said that the winner is some of pieces so i was happy too <laughs> uh, amazing imagine if your mom find us find out about this award she's gonna be happy say mama we won won award sir you know i don't so, win one <laughs> now more to one. come now i heard this they come next <laughs> You know, more they come. Amazing, amazing. I'm happy that um, there's a there's a reward for you, and there's more reward coming. You know, because what you are doing is quite amazing. Now, um, you said you mentioned that you have you have a manager. Are you signed up to yeah. any record deal at the moment? You know, are you signed to an or is it something you would love to? Maybe somebody's watching right now and they've listened to your song. There's you know they see your charisma. They're like you know I'd like to work with this guy. I like I like him. Would you would you be open? Are you open for that? Yeah, I'm open. But for now I'm with FBI Ward. So okay. FBI Worldwide. So but it doesn't mean because we are family. Everything we yes. do here, we do it as family. So mm. I'm I'm with FBI Worldwide right now, but it doesn't mean that when opportunity knock on my door, I yeah. won't yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm sure that is what he wants for you as well. You know, yeah. bigger, a bigger deal because that's what yeah. managers do. They manage you to make sure that you, you know, you you get higher. So if there's any yeah. deal coming up, he will manage because he's a manager and he's not a record deal, so a label. So yeah, yeah, that 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 that's. Well, FBI, what do I have? You have a label though. 
Okay, say it again. Hmm? What did you say? I didn't catch that. No, I said the FBI worldwide is a record label. Okay, it's a record label. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But you, you are open for other yeah. you know, yeah. other opportunities. Okay. Yeah. Abby. You know, you want yeah, it to you know, you need to you know, you need to move, you know. Okay. That's, that's, that's great. Now being uh, a Europe an artist, international artist based in Europe, what would you say is the is the most challenging challenging aspect of being an artist in Europe for you? In your own experience, what is more challenging for you? Uh, well, what I can say that there is more challenge is that uh, working part because when you're working here, you need you work at night. So I don't really, not really think it's too much challenges though. Just the only challenge that is very difficult to get recognized. You're, I can't hear you anymore. Yeah, to yeah, to to, to get recognized. Yeah, is that is it. One of the challenges for you. Yeah, that is it. Mm, mm, mm. So, what 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 were the things? How have you been able to break through them? Have you been able to, or are you still struggling? So that is yeah. one of the, the area. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. Okay. Okay. And I, I I think that is what most people challenges for most most artists anyway. Artists, yeah. There's so many artists out there who yeah. Are, mm. Yeah. Love. Okay. Okay. Now before we kind of round up a little bit now i'm gonna hit you know i need you to free, freestyle tina talk show or add that anyhow you want oh yeah take it let's go <laughs> let me let me take my drink uh-huh <laughs> <coughs> tina talk show mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh yeah oh no oh my. oh yeah welcome welcome to tina tina talk show Talk show, say we day for the show, 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 say we live in our day, say we talk about the life where we live here. Welcome, welcome to Tina Tina Talk Show. Talk show, say we day for the show, 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 say we now never done. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. I really appreciate that one. I hit you there straight up. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, I really appreciate what advice will you give to um to anyone you know you you are in a field uh, i believe that uh, you know by the special grace of god you have been able to break through um at least at the beginning you did you you were not able to hit even youtube but now you are you hit the, the youtube and you, you you know you are you have become you know you're growing bigger and bigger you know and you're gonna grow bigger bigger by his grace now what advice maybe somebody's watching right now and they want to it would take that step in a music career well, what would you advise them one thing i can say is that no matter if it's not just the music no matter what the person is doing you must see mm -hmm. difficulty you must see challenges it's just for you to focus and keep yeah. doing what you are doing best yeah. when you know it's for you keep on doing it one day is going to be possible yeah yeah just, just keep doing it just keep doing just keep it. doing what you are doing just keep doing what you're doing okay all right amazing um how can people find you on social media i'm going to um put up um your your um you know your details down but can you share you know verbally tell the people okay. how can they reach you on social media yeah if you want to see me on social media youtube I'm more busy O M O N Z. Probably doing video, right? Yeah. If you want, if you want to see me on YouTube, I'm more busy. O M O N P I Z Z Y. Instagram, I'm more busy. Facebook, I'm more busy. TikTok, I'm more busy. Twitter, I'm more busy. Any platform, I'm more busy. The only I'm more busy in the house. Yeah. 
The only Omo Pizzi. The only on Omo Pizzi. The only the only Omo Pizzi on social media platform. You know, yeah. sometimes Omo. you get sometimes you get your name and you find out that somebody else is already using it. It's already using and it. Then you put underscore. No, you are the the first. Only. Yeah. The only Omo Pizzi. Omo Pizzi. Okay, so go there and you can follow him up on all his social media platform. On that scroll, scrolling there is all his information, guys. Um, it's an you know it's a guy that's coming up really really fast. You don't want to miss out on his amazing inspirational songs in his music in his songs. He tells you some stories, you know. Now, is there any fans, anybody, any any shout out you want to give to anyone out there? Mm. Shout out to everybody that support me, everybody that support yes. my music. Yes. Thank you all, and keep supporting me. And I'll mm -hmm. keep giving you good jams and love music, nice music. Trust me, mm -hmm. more is coming. And so my love video will be soon at very soon. Just keep notes. Go subscribe on my YouTube, all my platforms. Subscribe on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Music, all of them. You're going to have some fun too with me. Let's have fun. Nagbagbena, nagbagbena. Abi. Yes, na pizzi bagwe. Where's the bag? We get up. Is it bag? Where's the bag? No, bag means like I can like you are the person is nice, it's dope, beautiful. You can use it like you like maybe you see a pretty lady now, you say, ah, this girl, or what bag means she's cute. Or you see a guy now, you say this guy, bag means say na nice guy, say say good guy, say cute guy. Mm, mm, mm. Omo Bagwe, this is Bagwe. Yes, now Omo Bagwe. I like that Omo Bagwe. Omo Bagwe, guys, follow him on all his social media platform. He's saying to you right now, Omo Bagwe. Thank yes. you so much, Omo PZ. It's a pleasure. Now, I need to quickly ask you, um, how did you come up, come up with Omo Omo PZ? Because it's a very unique name. I come up with Omo PZ in Libya. In Libya, okay. Yeah. Because oh. my I was using Omo J before, so I think no Omo J is non perfect for me, and it's non unique. I don't like it. So I because Omo is my son name, so I think what name am I going to put? It's going to sound funny. I really pick up PZ from Pizza. <laughs> I just removed I just removed the A and put on I put Y, Omo PZ. just like that. Easy PZ. <laughs> Guys, did you hear that Omo PZ? Omo and pizza. Is it because you love pizza? <laughs> no, 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 pizza. Just now, no more pizza. So, 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 no, no, no. Is it because you love pizza? You love pizza. Yeah, uh -huh. everybody. I don't think who doesn't love pizza. Everybody love pizza. Me, me, I don't like pizza. Why? No, I'm joking. I love pizza. Uh -huh. <laughs> pizza bag bag now. Pizza bag bag. Pizza bag bag. So any yeah. so uh, pizza or more pizza bag or more PZ or more PZ or more PZ or more PZ. Yep. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. That is really quite amazing. Thank you so much, or more PZ. It's a Thank pleasure you, uh, coming to Tina Talk Show. Uh, we really do appreciate you, and um, and uh, we hope that uh, you know this time is not going to be your last time. You know, when, when you don't when you don't make come, make you remember you come back. We'll still come back now. Nah. Now nah, you first interview me now. Nah. You're my first oh. now. Nah, you be the first person to interview me, so now nah, I'm lucky. Oh. <laughs> don't forget me oh, because you go get there. Oh. Eh? Inshallah. We know we'll read you. Inshallah. There. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate you, okay? All right. So just yes, yeah, stay tuned. Just stay there, okay? Yeah, thank you. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, you've heard from Omo PZ how the name came about from pizza. Can you believe that? <laughs> but wait, now, but not pizza, don't change the PZ to pizza. But you see, at least you have known now, you know, um, the, the, the story, um, and how every name has their genesis every name has a way that it started i don't know about you but as always whenever i guests come to the show i always have something i take with me i appreciate all of you who have 
tune in to watch this amazing um uh, i'm on PC sharing this amazing story with us and if like always if this is your first time of tuning in to watching our talk show i want to say if you're watching it from youtube don't forget to subscribe because this way you will be the first to be notified whenever another amazing artist or somebody is going to come on the show to share their story of who they are and the beauty of what they do in case you are also watching me right now on facebook don't forget to follow me and like me there. If you are also, uh, you know, on Instagram, you can also, uh, you know, catch me up. That is Tina Talk Show. Okay, so it's Tina Talk Show, Facebook Tina Talk Show. Uh, YouTube is Tina Talk Show Bridging the Gap. Okay, so go there and subscribe and follow me there so you don't miss any of my amazing guests on the show. As always, do you have a story to share? Do you have something you want to tell the world? Has life taught you the experience, the wisdom, the understanding that thing you have, that you have been through? You know what did you learn from it? Maybe you share with someone. Someone will be happy. Someone will be will, will be you know will be uplifted from your story. You see, I always say when we share our story, we are uplifting somebody, and when we are uplifting somebody, what happens? We are also uplifting ourselves, just like my amazing guest has, has shared as uh, you know, share with us, uplifting us with his own story. And I truly believe that he is also going to be uplifted. Thank you so much. Until next time, and bye for now.